Hi everybody, my deepest condolences to everyone who lost a loved one, a family member, a co-worker, a colleague yesterday. That shooting was senseless and horrible and I just hope and pray that we don't have to see that again in our area. My heart also goes out to the staff in the establishments, the witnesses, all those who have this image tattooed on their brain. That's gonna be tough to shake, but we're here for you, support you, and we know there's lots of services that can help you to make sense of it all and to be able to move forward. For our community, I have three things I've been thinking about, three reflections on things that we can do. One is love everyone. As soon as these things happen, you start to see a lot of rhetoric around, it could have been me, I should have been there, my son was in the area, that sort of thing. And then we redouble our efforts to be purposeful with our love. Love everyone all the time. Be kind to those people who are serving you in restaurants. You know, Forgive your family and your friends for their slights against you. Move forward and move in love. Love hard, that's one of the things that we can always do and not have that place of guilt and reflection. The second thing we can do is report everything. Our police are doing their best in the community to establish non-emergency lines, online reporting, and these are ways that we can be the eyes for the community. They depend on us as much as we depend on them. So don't be afraid to call everything in. Be that intel, be their eyes in the community. The online reporting is a great tool that is underutilized and can definitely help in situations like this when there's suspicious things that are going on. You're not inconveniencing them when you pound them with all kinds of reports and intel. Be their eyes. And the third thing and the most important thing is take care of yourself. You see when a plane, uh, when they get on the plane, they always tell you if there's an emergency to put your oxygen mask on first and then take care of those around you. It's the exact same in everyday life with our mental health. Take care of yourself first. Men, don't be a hero, ask for help. Women, don't be a martyr, ask for help. People, take care of yourself and ask if you need help. There's so many resources in our community to be of assistance to you so that you don't end up in an unhealthy situation. Love everyone, report everything, and take care of yourself. There's no instant solution, but these are ways that we can move towards a healthier community. Thanks for watching Martin Reed Mississauga. Like, subscribe, and share for more content, and check out martinreed.ca to contribute with your time, your money, and your vote to this campaign.